is Jenny Brandt with Unleash Your God-Given Healing. Let's look at five ingredients you don't want in your laundry detergent. I formally considered my laundry detergent based on whether it cleaned or had a strong, good smelling fragrance. But after finding some of the ingredients in laundry detergent at high levels in my body, I now choose my laundry detergent not only by its cleaning performance, but now on what it contains that might harm this gal's body. That's now very important. Think about it. Your skin is like a sponge. It can soak up chemicals from laundry detergent, especially when you sweat. Your clothes, sheets, towels, and bedding all make contact with your skin during the day and during the night when you detox. Laundry chemicals can stay in your items even after being rinsed in the rinse cycle. When you sleep on sheets, dry off with a towel, or wear clothes. Some of those harsh chemicals can enter your bloodstream and circulate throughout your body. Something to think about. Those who suffer the most are generally children, the elderly, and those who have sensitive skin. These groups tend to have more reactive skin and lower immune function. And don't forget about your beloved pets. They can also be sensitive to the ingredients from washing their bedding in detergents loaded with toxic chemicals. So here are the five chemicals you're going to want to avoid. Number one, sodium lauryl sulfate known as SLS and other surfactants. SLS is a commonly used surfactant that helps remove dirt and stains from material while adding foaming action. It may cause eye, skin, and lung irritation. It's also found in many shampoos and soaps. Ammonium lauryl sulfate and ammonium lauryl sulfate are both petroleum-based surfactants that cause eye and skin irritations. Polyethylene glycol is another petroleum-based surfactant that can cause anaphylaxis. It is an ingredient in the COVID-19 mRNA-based vaccines where anaphylaxis is an issue for some people who took the vaccine. That's why it's listed as a side effect. Number two, benzene. This petroleum-based chemical, which is also found in gasoline, is a known carcinogen, according to the American Cancer Society. This ingredient is called dichlorobenzene or benzyl acetate. Dichlorobenzene is an irritant and benzyl acetate has warnings that include respiratory distress, skin irritation, and kidney damage. This toxic chemical was found in high levels in this gal's body, and I'm not sure whether it came from my laundry detergent, breathing gasoline fumes, or a combination of both. Number three, good old bleach. We've all used it. I've been using bleach my entire life until my toxic chemical profile revealed that this toxin was also at high levels in my body. Many laundry detergents contain bleach and many of us use bleach to whiten our whites, brighten our clothes and sanitize and disinfect. Think again, this toxic chemical has been linked to respiratory illnesses and infections in children. Using bleach in our laundry can release volatile organic contaminants. And we don't want to inhale these. Make no mistake, 
This hazardous chemical can cause severe caustic burns, blindness, and respiratory problems, according to the safety data sheet. I now only use this on a very rare occasion. And when that rare occasion comes up, I dilute it, turn on exhaust fans, and wear a mask and gloves, believe it or not. But that is a rare occasion. Number four, one for dioxane. This chemical easily penetrates the skin and is suspected of actually causing birth defects. The EPA classifies it as a likely human carcinogen that can cause skin, liver, lung, and kidney issues. You'll rarely find it on the ingredient labels because it's a contaminant created when common ingredients react to form the compound when they're mixed together. Choosing certified organic products is the best way to avoid this hidden toxin. And number five, we can't forget fragrance. Synthetic fragrances are common in many things, including laundry products, and they are some of the worst chemicals you can be exposed to. Some are suspected or known carcinogens, and some are endocrine-disrupting chemicals, which can mimic estrogen in the body. Symptoms can include rashes, migraines, and respiratory and sinus problems. It's best to select detergents that are either unscented or naturally scented with plant extracts or essential oils. There are actually other chemicals in laundry detergent, but these are the main ones to look out for. The laundry pods, which have become so popular that you just pop in that washing machine, are highly concentrated with chemicals and are considered poison if they get into a child or adult's mouth and can cause severe skin irritation when you use them to wash your clothes. Next time you go to the grocery store, look for plant-based, non-toxic, unscented or naturally scented detergents. There's many of them on the market. You can even make your own. But write down these five chemicals and make sure they are not in your laundry ingredients. I want to share with you just a few examples of things that I use at home. There's plenty out there. I use a laundry detergent. It's liquid. It's made by doTERRA called On Guard, and it's mainly made from essential oils with a few other natural ingredients. Now, as I said, you can make your own, and a lot of people use this arm and hammer as a base for their homemade laundry detergent. Some people will also add borax to that laundry detergent. And some people will add a certain amount of baking soda, and then you can add some essential oils as well for scent. There are many recipes online for natural laundry detergents, but I will put this recipe below in the show notes. I hope you will subscribe to this YouTube channel like this video, share it, apply it, so that you can keep your family healthy. Here's to your health as you keep your clothes and all those accessories you need clean, but do it non-toxically. Until next time, may God bless and keep you healthy.